In this video, I'm going to go over the programming sequence for the mechanical push button lock used in the shot lock handgun safes. I've had people ask me if they could make their shot lock devices more secure by shoving epoxy down the keyway, letting it harden so that nobody can insert any lock picking tools. And the answer is yes. But before you do that, I want to make sure everybody understands this mechanical push button lock. The default access code for all of these shot lock products is 1278. These other buttons are not doing anything. I can press these and then enter the combination and it works. If somebody is hunting around trying to come up with the combination and they press one of these null buttons, that resets the lock. So let's reprogram this. When you open your shot lock, you need to locate a couple of screws. Phillips head screws, one right here and one on the other side. Um, the, when the lid is closed, it covers those screws, so they are not accessible. Do not lose these. The next step is to slide up this housing here out of the way just comes out and this right here is the whole latching locking assembly what we're concerned with is this right here this is the push button mechanical lock unit there's some metal clips that are holding it in place so you just slide it out that's the whole thing this mechanical lock extends a tiny bar out the end of it i'll enter the combination one, two, seven, eight. And you can see that little bar extending out at the end of it. I'll push one of the null buttons and it snaps back. And now I'll show you what that bar is pushing on. That tiny bar is pushing right here. It has to push this arm out of the way. It pivots and back in here, that frees up the latching assembly to move. If you look at the face of the lock, you see numbers one through eight. They correspond with the buttons. And if I turn the lock on its side, you can see there are uh, two types of buttons. You have the four null buttons in the middle and then the combination buttons with red letters A, B, C, and D. To loosen these up, you push in on one of these releases on the side, hold it in, pull them out. I'll just rearrange two of them to keep the demonstration short. The null buttons kind of put up a bit of a fuss coming out and going back in. I'll show you the bottom of them. You can see the combination button has a profile that engages with the lock and the null button is just flat. So now to put these back in again, you have to hold one of these releases in. And the new combination is one, two, five, and eight. So now I'll reassemble the safe. Inside of here, there's three steel clips that hold the lock in place. And of course the lock tells you which side goes up. You just slide it in and it snaps in place. The new combination, one, two, five, eight. And that is how you reprogram your shot lock 200M.